Hello everyone, today is going to be another modeling video. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you a way how you can check the actual in-car frequency response of a driver that you physically do not have. If th This is useful if you, for example, planning to buy another driver or if you want to see how the same driver would perform in a different kind of enclosure, like if, for example, if you have sealed and you want to see how would it be if it would be ported or how it would be if my ported would be tuned lower or that kind of stuff. So you can check all of that stuff. The only thing that you need is a um, laptop and one single measurement of your subwoofer. So this is my subwoofer measurement from the driver's seat and you need only this. What we will be utilizing is what is called a car transfer function. I'm going to talk about this a bit later. I did cover it a tiny bit when I, in my previous video, when I was designing a sixth order bandpass enclosure, but here I'm going to go into more detail. So you need this measurement that we have here. It's from driver's seat. This is my subwoofer measurement. Now uh, we will be using this program, which is called uh, here in the corner, uh, Vitrix CAD. I don't know how to pronounce it. So this is uh, used for mainly home, home audio drivers when you're designing crossovers, that kind of stuff. What we will be using, if we go to tools, here, enclosure. We're going to click on that. And this is the window that helps us to design enclosure. So this is almost exactly the same as WinISD. The, the thing is why I'm using this is because this program has a function here. It, it can export the SPL graph because if you design a, an enclosure in WinISD, you can just see it but you cannot export it and you cannot do anything with that data. It's just for you to see or compare. But this has the option to export the data. So I have uh, this measurement that I made. It's in 1.5 cubic feet uh, sealed enclosure. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna check my driver, which is this one. Yeah, Alpine Type X. Uh, if you wanna add a driver, just click this green plus and you just enter all the parameters, TS parameters you can find online, and you're gonna have it there. So I did that, so Alpine Type X. Then we're gonna go to uh, Enclosure. I'm gonna choose Closed, which is Sealed, and uh, 1.5 cubic feet is, I think, so 48 liters, something like that. And it gives me this SPL graph. So it gives me other stuff, which I am not interested in because uh, for this particular case, I'm interested only in the frequency response. So I have this graph. I'm going to click on this SPL and it's going to export it into a TXT file. So basically text. So I did that before. And what I did, uh, I did the sealed. Then I changed some parameters. So I went to base reflex, which is a ported. I increased the volume to 60 liters, which gives me about two cubic feet. And the uh, tuning frequency, I put 3 33 hertz. Yeah, so I did this, export it as well. And I have in here, I have uh, my sealed, uh, ported, it, if I wanted to check how this, uh, how, how frequency response would be if I put my my existing subwoof in a ported enclosure. And then just for fun, I took a GL12W7 uh, just to see for comparison. And for fun, a Sundown Z series in exactly the same two cubic feet and tuned to 33, just for fun to see what would be the difference between them. Yeah, so I have all of these four things. So once when, when I ex export them, then I open my REW and here I have these TXT files. So first of all, I'm going to take the sealed model. I'm going to pop it in, just drag and drop all SPL. And here, this is the green one. 
is the modeled response and the red one is the actual in car and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to controls trace arithmetic and then i'm going to take measurement a the in car response measurement b the modeled response and i'm going to divide a and b i'm going to generate and here at the bottom this blue line is what i'm going to call sorry transfer function so this is basically if i have this response and i have another modeled response i can see how the final response from driver's seat is going to be because basically this is how the car itself changes the frequency response of the driver so if you would have a driver that is totally and absolutely flat let's take for example this 45 mark and it's going to be like a flat line from zero hertz up to whatever so like ideal in ideal world ideal driver and if i'm going to have the driver that plays totally totally flat and i'm going to put it in my car this blue line is going to be the actual frequency response from the driver's seat yeah so this is my transfer function now i'm going to add some more so i'm going to add the alpine uh, in two cubic feet ported which i did i'm going to add the jl and i'm going to add the sundown as well cool so we have all of these so these are all of this yes i'm going to remove this so we can very quickly compare them yeah so uh the this line is the sealed alpine the orange one is alpine imported so you can see there's a hump a bit more output and below like 18 it goes down okay uh, the light green is jl and the blue is the sundown so sundown is very peaky it's an spl sub it's just for fun if i would want to go to spl side if i want to change sides how it would look like so these are these uh, modeled versions and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the same trace arithmetic and i'm going to take my transfer function and i'm going to choose so first i'm going to choose the alpine imported and what i'm going to do is a times b and i'm going to generate a frequency response and this so now i'm going to remove all the modeled responses because it's gonna free up the screen there we go so the red one is in sealed what i have now and if i would have the same driver in a ported enclosure if i would change the box this brown one would be exactly the same driver in the ported enclosure yeah one big 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 thing to note is this transfer function that we did is dependent on location so if i have my box behind the seats this is gonna be behind the seats if i'm gonna have my driver uh, in the spare tire well this function is going to be different yeah so this is behind the seats in this particular case okay so that's alpine type hacks uh let's go for jl a times b again that's jl so don't look at the db value because this is it's, it's not maximum spl it's just the shape of the frequency response okay and i'm gonna choose sundown and i'm gonna do exactly the same generate yeah so it's a bit crowded let's enlarge it a bit and we will see so the red one yeah is sealed 
And as you can see, sealed has, as everybody says, the flattest frequency response. It covers the widest range and it's less peaky. Yeah, everything else ported, you have a peak and like here, it, it's, it's a steeper slope that goes down. So let's remove the sealed. And now we have a brown alpine and teal or green would be JL. And as you can see, it's very similar extremely similar response, just a uh, different dB level, yeah? So those two drivers, if I would have either Alpine, either JL, it's gonna be just a, a difference of, I guess, quality, the sound quality, because this is, again, just a frequency response. And if I will take uh, the Sundown, you can see Sundown is extremely peaky, it dies down, on both sides, so it's like a, almost like a, if we would put something in a ba uh, bandpass enclosure. It's peaky and narrow, but it's it's typical of an SPL. So if I would want to, for example, change my current sealed Alpine into a Sundown, if I'm gonna do that, Sundown port it, that would be the difference of the frequency response that I would get. Okay, so this is a very, actually it's a very, very easy way to check whatever you want. If you want to try a new driver, if you're planning to buy a new driver and you don't know how it will perform, this is exactly how you do it. You model it, just enter TS parameters, you put whatever box you want, volume, tuning, if you're doing uh, ported, you can go uh, closed, you can try infinite baffle, you can do whatever you want. Just do the model, import the model into REW and through, oh, sorry, through controls, trace arithmetic, have that transfer function and just A times B and it's gonna give you a frequency response. Again, it's not gonna be 100% 100, 100 accurate, but I guarantee it's gonna be at least 95% accurate if the location is the same. If you change the location, you just need to take another frequency response. So you don't need a big massive subwoofer to uh, check the transfer function of the car. You can have a small, tiny, like eight or six inch in wherever you want, in a corner of the car or in the um, spare tire well. And you just take that measurement and you do your transfer function as long as you have the TS parameters, yeah? So uh, I find it very useful if I want to model how any driver behaves or if I would want to change something, how it would be. So I hope it helps you as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.